What's up Green Dreamers? How's it going? <laughs> Jem here, back at it, doing another video. Just want to show you what is going on. It's very exciting. Uh-oh. Little guess hiding underneath the drawer. Careful, careful, dangerous. <laughs> Move. It's on the move. So I'm very excited. Today I should be getting another delivery of wire. Hopefully this will be the last wire I need for a while. But this wire should be the for the final hookup for Grace's trailer. So right now I'm busy because my plans have changed. Two of the hookups I was able, we were able to do right on the shed. That was a great suggestion. Just made it a lot quicker, a lot easier. But this last one, it's going to be kind of far. So I still need a trench. I'm going to need a trench part of the way there, maybe about uh, maybe about 50 feet or so from the shed. Then I'll mount the RV hook up there, and then she'll be able to plug right in. But let me show you what's going on. So I did have the trench going from the front of the shed out this way. Now I just moved it over slightly, bringing it in actually a little next to the shed, and then I'm going to come along this way. All right, so I'm almost done digging. I just got a little bit more work to do, and then I'm ready for that wire. Now when that wire comes, I'm gonna show you the final hookup. I'm gonna hook you up with the final hookup. That's right. So the wire did finally come. It's getting toward the evening time. I'm trying to get try. I'm gonna try and get as much done today as I can before before I lose the light. Plus, it's really cloudy, so it's possible we might get some rain. I don't know. It's possible. It's always possible. <laughs> but as I was going through uh, my wood, I found just about the perfect size post. It's maybe uh, maybe about uh, four feet tall. Nice and thick. I was afraid I was going to have to use one of these skinnier, almost like two by three inch posts. But luckily I won't have to. I'm going to mount my box up here and then I'm going to almost work reverse order. I'm going to start here with the wiring and then work my way back to the electrical panel. All right, I got my eating box. Just gonna mount that up on here real quick. Don't wanna lose this. <laughs> this last one may prove to be tricky. Nope, I got it in just fine. All right, I got all my wire here. Now, just grab my PVC, start putting the conduit together. So I was trying to make something uh, like a reel stand to hold the wire while I uh, ran it through the conduit, but it just wasn't quite working out. The wire was still getting hung up, so I just stretched it out back down that way. Now I'm pulling it through the conduit. <laughs> what you're about to see is not the recommended way of doing this. Let me just point that out. I'm the only one available to run the wire through the conduit, so this is kind of what I'm doing right now. Don't do what I do. <laughs> All right, I got this wire so far, maybe through about 30 feet or so. I got about 20 more to go before I get to the shed. Through about another 10 feet. So now that I got my wire almost all the way through, I'm gonna start putting my conduit together. Got my PVC glue, and I'll just pop this on there. All right, so we've been having a heck of a time. So we pulled the wire up into the shed, and the tricky part was this conduit here. So with the tape, with the electrical tape still being tied to the uh, Still being wrapped around the wires. We needed to get the eight gauge wire through this conduit, which is half inch conduit. So it should have been wide enough, but it was really tight. We couldn't push it through. So then eventually we fed a wire through, attached that so we could pull as well as push that conduit through. But even that didn't quite work because that wire snapped. So I picked up a little wire lube and we just lubed the heck out of it. We just lubed a little bit as we were going and just kind of pulled and pushed that wire through. But eventually we got the wire through the half inch conduit 
And then I proceeded to attach the conduit up along its brethren. I got it attached up onto the wall, going down to the box. All right, now for safety. Before I start messing with this box, I'm gonna shut off some of the breakers to cut off the flow of energy going into the main panel. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna work front to back. I don't know if there's a proper method for shutting off breakers. But I'm just gonna go from the lines out back to the circuitry here. And then I'll even go as far as to shut this one off as well. All right, now that the panel's open, I'm gonna hit that uh, little knockout at the top so I can get the wiring inside. <laughs> that actually came out real easy. <laughs> Sometimes those things can be a real challenge sometimes to get them out. <laughs> Fortunately, I think that knockout I was trying to put it in was a little too small. So I tried a slightly larger one. That worked out well. Luckily, I had a piece that fit. <laughs> Otherwise, this would have been bad real quick. Now I'm just gonna attach the uh, lock here. Now I'm just gonna give it a little tap to lock that in place. Yeah, I think that should be real secure. Okay, now I'm gonna try and do the wiring on this real quick. Luckily, I already have the other breaker installed. So I'm gonna get my wire stripper. All right, so I got eight gauge wire here which is um, a little bit thicker than the than my standard stripper can uh, can pull off. So I just used a little blade with extreme caution <laughs> to strip the uh, ends of my wire here. Now, as I've been taught to wire, I'm gonna start by wiring up the ground, then the neutral, and then the hot. Hot, hot, hot. I gotta get this done pretty quick because Jessica's waiting on me. She wants to get in here to do some work and she probably can't because I'm messing with the wiring. <laughs> She's got her hands on her hips right now. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Put the cover back on. I'm going to uh, turn the power back on. And I'm just gonna turn on these two breakers. I'm gonna leave this one off for now because I still got more wiring to do out there. All right, back outside. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer than I anticipated, mainly because uh, it's a little difficult getting that wire through the conduit. But we're there, home stretch. This is another day. See, I'm wearing another shirt. That totally means it's another day. <laughs> I'm just kidding, not always. Sometimes there'll be one shirt for a few days, sometimes a few shirts for one day. You just never know. <laughs> I need to get in here. I need to remove the knockout here. And then I need to attach one more piece of PVC to get from the conduit up into here. Home stretch. <laughs> Woo, I tell you, it's still been uh, it's still been warm out here in southern Arizona. Whew. Almost about noon, sun's up high in the sky, and man, and that sun's directly on you. It's pretty brutal. You get a little bit of shade though. It's not bad. I'm not crazy about these knockouts on these things. These can be a little tough to get off, so wish me luck. <laughs> Well, this one's looking like it might be a little easier to get out. I definitely got some extra wire here. At some point, I'm going to have to cut these up. 
but it makes me a little nervous cutting the wire. I'm always thinking I'm gonna cut it too short. So I'm saving it for last. <laughs> Got my little connector piece right here too. That should all be ready to go. I'm gonna put a little bit of the PVC glue on the male end. Just a little bit. And I get it into so that it touches the wires itself. Come on, buddy, you can make it. Oh, good boy. <laughs> oh man, the camera's on me and he just he just missed the harrowing escape of crew from underneath the uh, the RV over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should not have had to look at this while all that was going on. I think it's time to nip these things. <laughs> Probably should have done that a while ago, but I wanted that to be the last thing. <laughs> we'll still give it quite a bit of room, just in case. Probably put a little clip on here too just to make sure it's secure to the post. Almost done. <laughs> now this is in there and that's good because now this thing won't fall over. <laughs> I'm still missing a piece. I'm still missing a little washer to put around here just to uh, just to make sure that's secure. I'll have to go pick one up. I don't have one. And the closest the closest hardware store to us is closed on Sunday, so but it's just a little piece. It'll be good till, till we, I don't want to make a special trip just for that little locking nut. All right, now I got my ends exposed. Time to wire this baby in. So they already have their own grounding wire attached to here. I'm gonna attach my grounding wire into this little bus bar over here. I'll tell you, there are a ton of clouds up over here. I'm just waiting for them to get over to the sun. <laughs> right now, it's still beating down on my face. So the way I'm wiring this though, was the ground, the neutral, and then I'll do the hot. Oh yeah, looking nice and pretty. <laughs> oh. Don't drop the screw. Damn, it should be all set. All right, so a little moment of truth. I wanna test this out before closing up shop on this because I wanna make sure that the wiring is right. So I'm about to flip on the last breaker. And then I am going to plug R or RV into the plug just to make sure that everything's running fine before Grace comes out. <laughs> Ooh, that would be bad otherwise. All right, so I got the plug. Moment of truth time. Let's see how we do. <laughs> All right. Inside the trailer, one sure way to tell if the electricity is running on in this place is the microwave. Because if there's no power, there won't be a time displayed on the microwave. Oh, oh there it is. It works. <laughs> nice. Well, we're finally all set. This was the wiring for the last of the RVs that are gonna be out here. Grace should be out here in a couple days or should be ready. <laughs> uh, this took a little bit longer than I thought. I thought maybe just a day, but just some of those little unexpected things. I'd like, I'd, I wasn't, I didn't know it was gonna be so tough getting that wire through that conduit. Uh, I definitely needed that wire lube, but we're here, I tested it out, it works. We're so happy. But now I gotta finish up with this video because it looks like it's gonna rain. 
And uh, so, <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe because Grace is going to be out here soon. It's just going to be even more fun going on. <laughs> if you can still hear me because the wind's picking up too. As always, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching. It looks like it could be rain, but it didn't say anything about rain in the forecast. Not for a few more days, anyway. What's up, buddy? Staying cool? It's like I'm always cool. <laughs>